I want to continue on from the video, our last video that we did, where we talked about uh, some advanced conditional formatting. I want to talk about conditional formatting again and how we can use it to uh, highlight or identify duplicate records within a list. So, first problem that comes up is if I select my list here, let's say I highlight all my list, I go to conditional formatting, we go ahead and make a new rule. You notice you have an option here, it says format only unique or duplicate values. So I can say format all duplicate values. I'm gonna set a format. And lo and behold, it does it. But it does it on a per column basis. So it's highlighted any of the duplicates in each column. It hasn't considered all of the rows, uh, all of the data in each row, I should say. So this isn't exactly what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. I would like to take that a step further and say, if there is an entirely duplicate record, I'd like to highlight it. So our first step is what I need to do is actually take each piece of data from that list and piece it together. So it's all in one cell. And now the fast way to do this is we can use our concatenate operator, which I talked about in a previous video. So I'm going to do A2 and B2 and C2. And it puts all the data together in a cell. So when I have it at this point, what I could do is I could highlight that one column, go into my conditional formatting, make a new rule, duplicate values, choose a format I want to use, and it identifies the duplicates. And if that was good enough for what you're doing, then so be it. But what we really wanted to do was highlight the entire row. So we need to take this a step further. And here's how we're going to achieve this. So I would highlight the entire list. I'd go into my conditional formatting. I'd go down to new rule. And this time I'm going to use a formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a function called count if. So if I said equals count if open bracket, what range do I want to use? Well, I want to use the range uh, where we pieced all the data from our list together. So I'd like to use all this range. What criteria do I want to set? Well, I want to set it independent for each row. So I wanted to check this first row and say, is there another Andrew Jones Vancouver? So how the count if function works is it equals count if the range you want to count in and then the criteria comes after the comma. So in that case, I'm going to say D2. Now what's crucial here is that I put dollar sign D2 because as it goes to the next one, I want the criteria to shift down to D3 and remember, that our conditional formatting is always based on the active cell, which currently is A2. So, if the count of that is greater than one, then I'd like to format it. So it means if it finds a duplicate, if it counts more than one, it means that there's a duplicate entry, and I'd like to format that as a particular color. Okay, okay again, there you have it. It's highlighted the whole row. We could even hide this column now if we didn't want to see it. And now it serves our purpose. So if any list that you have, you can highlight the entire row if there isn't a duplicate entire row uh, within that list. So that's a nice little trick for you uh, when you're working with your lists in Excel.